<laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Carol. I'm a librarian here at the Tulare Public Library, and we're very excited to do a demo today for making paracord bracelets. Maybe you've picked up a kit of materials, or maybe you have your own paracord. Um, either way, we do have paracord still at the library and we'll continue to have it regularly. So if you're watching this as a recording and you need some supplies, uh, come on down to the Tulare Public Library while we're open and see if we've got some for you. Right now, we have the red, white, and blue paracord, the camouflage paracord, and black. Obviously, I'm using black today and have not made it into a bracelet yet. Um, and we have some guests with us today. Um, Brittany, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Brittany. I'm one of the library assistants here at the Tulare Public Library, and I'm so happy to be with you all. And then we also have um, Ashley with us from COS. Ashley, do you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, hi. Thank you for having me. My name is Ashley Martinez, and I am the Veterans Coordinator at College of the Squares. Excellent. Well, we're so glad you could be with us. And um, so we'd like to go ahead and get started. And um, the other th thing that you need to have with you is the paracord jig. This is supplied from Operation Gratitude. Operation Gratitude does send the paracord bracelets out to troops and they really do appreciate them. Uh, they've gotten feedback that it is the best paracord bracelet because they know they're getting seven and a half feet exactly in their paracord bracelet. And it also comes undone really easily and quickly. So that's important, especially in a survival situation. Um, and the bracelets can be used for a tourniquet, for a shelter, a belt, all really important things. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust my camera so you can see what's happening a little bit better. And so I have my paracord jig and my seven and a half feet of paracord. The first thing we're going to do is make an Ashley knot. And so starting with um, a couple inches, I think I have about six inches of paracord here. I am going to go ahead and hold this end and the long end and make this little loop. And I'm going to grab the top of it and just pull it down so that I have two loops like this. I'm going to do that one more time so you can see um, a little bit better. So I'm pulling the top of it down and I'm just going to make sure my loops turn like this and like this. Okay, to me, I'm picturing like making a cursive E. <laughs> so I have two cursive E's right here. All right. I'm gonna take the one on the left and I'm gonna tuck it behind the loop on the right. And then I'm gonna go up through the middle. Now this one through the middle is where I'm gonna put my finger through it so that I can kind of tighten by pulling on the long end of my paracord and just sort of pushing the knot up a little bit. I don't need to tighten it at this point, but I do want to have just a little end here. I don't need a lot. If you have more than two inches, you're going to want to kind of adjust it a little bit, but I have about an inch here. Are you with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take this little end and I'm gonna put it behind the loop and go up through the middle of it. And this is where I can pull it tight. And I'm just pushing up and pulling down. And that is an Ashley knot. And I have about, I would say this is about two inches. If you have less, that's great. Um, if you have more than two inches, you probably want to um, undo the knot and try it one more time, okay? And again, this recording will be available afterwards. Um, if you are attending the live demonstration, you can just watch and then uh, the recording will be available almost immediately um, to watch again and to pause if you need to pause it. <laughs> That's also important. All right, so once you have the Ashley knot, this is where the jig becomes important. You're gonna locate the gray spot and you're gonna line up your knot and hold it with one finger on the gray knot. And then we're just going to snake around. I'm going to hold it 
now with my other hand on the little dot and I can let go of this one and pull the paracord here again snaking around and holding it here and this is the long end of the paracord it's going to go off to that end okay so this is basically what you should have in front of you and now I'm going to just grab it at this end so that I'm holding what is a loop and the long end of the paracord. Okay, this part can just hang, hang loose. That's where the bracelet is. We're gonna be building this way. All right, so with my loop and my long end of the paracord, I'm gonna start by wrapping around, and these first couple of wraps need to be really tight to get started. So I'm gonna wrap around about two or three times and then show you what I have. Going all the way around this stuff that's hanging. Making sure that it's nice and tight. So it looks like that. Okay. And this loop will end up getting a little bit smaller and that's okay as we tighten. And then we're just gonna keep wrapping around. So as we continue wrapping and tightening, um, I'm gonna see if Ashley has anything she wants to share with us that's happening over at COS right now. Yes, so I think I got this figured out. Let's see. Here's I love what it. I got. What I got first, I've got my little cord and I'm going to start my wrapping. Okay. Um, then I just wanted to share that um, I know a lot of people have questions about what um, College of the Sequoias is going to be doing for the spring semester. And our spring registration is actually open now. It started yesterday morning. And if students are interested in getting enrolled and attending classes for the spring, um, we can definitely help students out. Now, as far as what our course offerings are going to look like, for the most part, most of our classes are going to still be offered online. However, for many of our CTE programs, so nursing, physical therapy, construction, automotive technology, those courses are going to be offered in a hybrid model. So that means there will be times when students will come on campus and then there will be times that they will be completing work online. Uh, and that's just to break up the classes and allow everyone to get that hands-on instruction. Um, if veteran students, um, that's who I work with specifically, if you are wanting to enroll in classes at College of the Sequoias, I would say the best way to get started and make sure you're on the right track is to give us a call at 559-358-4851. And I will put that number down in the chat. Um, or to email us at vets, V-E-T-S, at cos.edu. And we will help get you registered. Um, the other thing I wanted to share is um, in observance of Veterans Day, I teamed up with our partners at Porterville College and West Hills College. And this Friday, November 6th, we are actually going to be hosting a joint Veterans Day ceremony. And I have put the link to register for that in the chat as well. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Yes, it's going to be this Friday, November 6th at 9 a.m. Oh, okay. Great. So it's exciting to hear that there are some things happening for Veterans Day, um, especially with COVID. It's been really um, difficult for ga any gatherings that are happening. So I'm so glad to hear that you guys are, are having that virtual event. Um, and um, I just wanna let you know where I am with my bracelet. I've, I've got a lot of coils wrapped around and I have a lot extra. So what I'm gonna do is push or pull the coils down to make more room to keep wrapping. And that's something that you can kind of keep doing because you really don't want to have a lot left over. So as you're, you're wrapping, just kind of stop and pull on these and tighten them. 
Don't worry at the end, they will be a little bit looser, but you'd wanna get as much of this wrapped around as possible. So Ashley, you were telling me that there's gonna be a special guest, um, a veteran who's also an artist. Yes, so for our Veterans Day ceremony, our speaker is going to be Judas Resendez. He is a combat veteran, an artist, and a ceramics faculty member here at College of the Sequoias. Um, so he was injured during a deployment during Operation Iraqi Freedom. And during his recovery, he reconnected with the arts. And that was kind of his, his um, road to healing. So we're gonna hear from him. I'm very nice. excited. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. And I would definitely like to attend that. So I'm getting really close to the end of my my bracelet here and I'm just continuing. Even when you think you can't do it anymore, I keep finding a way where I can keep adding a couple more wraps around just by pulling on it. Keeping in mind that I still need a little loop at the end here, right? And Carol, if I may say, weren't you saying another way to kind of create some loose space is if you, you know, hold the work you're doing, but kind of roll it between your hand and a hard surface. Sometimes that kind of creates some, a little bit of gap or a little bit of space where you can finagle it down as well. Absolutely. Thanks for that reminder, Brittany. That actually worked for me just now. <laughs> I definitely need a little more space. All right, so I have gotten to the point where I just have about, ah, this might be three inches here. So I'm gonna try a little bit more for some more space. I'd like to get down to two, that worked. I got a little more, I can keep wrapping around. So now I've got my loop, my Ashley knot and my little extra. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this so that the Ashley knot is kind of pushed to the side and I can go through that little loop that's on the end there and just pull it through. And by doing that, all this really tight coil that I have, I can now sort of push up to seal it a little bit. And that also loosens it a little bit more so that I still have some loop at the other end because I'm gonna need to push my Ashley knot through this loop at the other end. So now I'm going the opposite way with my coils. So taking that Ashley knot, I'm gonna take the end of it and put it through this loop at the other end and push it through there. And now I have my paracord bracelet. I like it, came out pretty nice. So I know a veteran that I could give it to, um, but if you don't have a veteran that you would like to gift this to, you can send it to Operation Gratitude. And we have that address available on our website um, as well as our Facebook, um, or you can go to uh, their website and find it. And they actually make gift boxes that they send out to troops. And these paracord bracelets that people make, they include in those gift boxes. So um, I know they'd be really happy to, to receive um, any paracord bracelets that, that you might want to donate to them. And they will make sure that they get in the hands of a veteran. So how'd you do, Brittany? Oh, nice. I think it's looking okay. I have a little extra on my original Ashley knot side, but everything seems secure, tight. I, I'm think, I think we're doing all right. <laughs> yep. I think that the extra, if you have, you know, I would say two inches is maybe the max that you want on there. If it is a lot longer, you can take it apart and try it again. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to take this apart so that um, you see how easy and quick it can be for um, survival purposes if you needed to use it. So back to 
where my Ashley knot is, the other end of that bracelet, I'm just going to push those coils down and I can easily pull that through and it just comes right apart pretty quickly. And these really don't tangle up. They just come off and they're ready to use. Um, see a little bit of it still coiled, but these ones come undone and are ready for whatever you might need to use it for. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you so much, Ashley, for joining us today. Um, this special paracord craft is our way at the library of celebrating veterans day um, we do want to continue it so if you're watching this and you're not even in the year 2020 <laughs> we're still going to continue to have the supplies for paracords we're going to continue to make them at our veterans resource center and have them available to veterans we also have grab bags that we're going to be including the paracord bracelets in um, which will have information about veterans resources. And we always try to keep those up to date. So please come by and visit us um, at the Tulare Public Library. Thanks again, Ashley, for joining us. And thank you, Brittany. Thank you for having me. It Absolutely. was wonderful.